The day dawned crisp and clear. The sun poured through the window. Another day dawned bringing with it new hopes, aspirations. The rays of sunlight that lit my room were alongside the chorus of melodic bird song that drifted in. I rubbed my blurry eyes and walked out of my house hurriedly to the place of my work. As I walked to the nearest LRT station, I could see the just risen sun that had shone softly on the city streets, bringing with it a flurry of early morning activity. I reached my destination and started to greet my colleagues. There was Norma, an Indonesian lady who had left the shores of her country over the last 25 years and made Malaysia a new home and had a passion for keeping everything spotlessly clean in the office. Then there was Chi who had an aptitude for numbers who would give you details of the GDP of all developing and developed countries as if he was reading it from the back of his hands. Param could easily pass off as an English gentleman if you had not seen him but heard him speak. He was succinct and eloquent and spoke flawless English and was the wordsmith that would be summoned to draft complex documents. Then again, Amina who was the most capable administrator that anybody could possibly have. A radiant, vivacious young lady of diminutive beauty, she keeps the organization ticking by ensuring that everything around the office was well organized. That was the Malaysia that I grew up in, multilingual, multi-religious, and yet living alongside harmoniously. Respecting each other's culture and sensitivity and drawing upon the current strength and talent of each of the races to be what today is a progressive nation. The spate of recent events has been disturbing and threatens to destroy the fabrics of our society. Individuals who choose to accentuate our differences and treat into the dangerous path of dividing us along racial and religious lines only for the purpose of furthering their narrow chauvinistic interest. Relations must stand up to this. Embracing the time-honored value system of respecting each other's culture, assisting our less fortunate brothers and sisters, respective of their class and creed, alongside building this nation together. We have made this a progressive nation, together, because we believed that our destinies are intertwined and worked together to build this nation. After a long day at work, I decided to leave for the city before heading home. As I stepped out of the office, the sky was ablaze with fire of the setting sun. And by the time I reached the city, the night sky was aglow with bright city lights. I finally reached Taling Street also known as Chinatown, to meet my friend Ali, who works around the city. As I walked along the streets, a variety of scents would be wafting through the streets, from fish balls and beef brisket street stalls, and the exhaust gases from the vehicles. These smells often bind together to become odors that can trigger memories of a particular location. I met Ali classmate who had shared many XP experiences in school and was always a delight meeting him. And I made a point to visit him during Hari Raya just as he would make way to my house on Deepavali. We had a great meeting and a good dinner before I decided to leave home. As I reached home, I saw the pale crescent moon that shone like a silvery claw in the night sky and the blanket stars that stretch to infinity. I thought Malaysia would continue to be what it always used to be. I was optimistic because back in my office, Norma, Amina, Chi Singh and Parang, among others, 
drew upon the inherent strength of each other to make our organization a great one and Malaysians across the country could do the same. I reached my home and the surroundings were quiet except for the occasional barking of far away dogs that broke the silence of the night. I tucked myself to bed with the hope that the new dawn tomorrow would bring a realization to all that diversity is our strength and we will not let anyone extinguish the glow of unity within us.